Hello, Denver! And hello, America! I am here tonight, not just as the governor of Virginia knows that the people of my state need a better partner in the White House, but I'm here as an American who wants to see American values guiding our nation again. For eight years, we have seen what happens when a president lets Washington values become more important than American values. Gas prices skyrocket when the oil companies call the shots. Our children are left behind when an administration cares more about sound bites than sound schools. And our middle class families are left to fend for themselves to save their grasp on the American dream. Maybe for John McCain, the American dream means seven houses. And if that's your America, then John McCain is your candidate. But, but for the rest of us, the American dream means one home in a safe neighborhood with good schools and good health care. Folks, does that seem like too much to ask for? John McCain will keep answering to the special interests of the Washington lobbyists. But we're ready for leadership that answers to us. And the leader who will deliver the change we need is Barack Obama. Now, folks, folks, we know it's not going to be easy because change is never easy. That's why we'll need a little something extra to get this done. The Gospel of Matthew says, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to the mountain, move, mountain, and it will move. My lifelong faith deepened when I traveled to Honduras to work with Catholic missionaries during lost I am full of Latinos aquí in Denver. El número más grande y la historia de la convención y el pueblo ha estado unido con Barack Obama. En Honduras, I was a great mentor there, a guy named Brother Jim O'Leary, and I learned that faith is more than words or doctrine. Faith is about action. And that led me to spend my life in public service. Well, I was learning to put my faith into action in Honduras, Barack Obama was doing the same thing on the streets of Southside Chicago, helping people reclaim their steel neighborhoods and lives after steel plants closed down. And Joe Biden, you know that Joe Biden has also spent his life putting faith into action, overcoming unspeakable tragedy in his personal life and as a U.S. Senator, making our world safe, our air cleaner, and protecting women from crimes of violence. For Barack Obama, for Joe Biden, for me, for all of us, the principles of faith call us to service. With faith in the American dream, we strive for better schools, economic justice, and smarter foreign policies because we believe in the God-given principles of equality freedom, and opportunity. With, with faith in each other, with faith in each other, we work for a common sense approach to politics that focuses on results, not partisan division, because we know that we're all in this together. Aren't we all tired of a Washington that doesn't have any faith in us? Well, folks, now is the time to put our faith into action, to elect a president who will put middle-class Americans first again. We need to put our faith into action, to elect a president who will invest in our students, our teachers, and schools, and make college affordable again for every American family. We need to put our faith into action, to elect a president who will end the war in Iraq responsibly, give our veterans and their families the support they need, and reinvigorate our military for the challenges ahead.